Hey, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Fatal. Uh, so the guys over at Kasana were nice enough to send out their M600 gaming mouse to me a few weeks ago for a unboxing and review. I'm gonna do a review a little bit later. This is gonna be just an unboxing. And I've been excited to open this mouse box up and see what we have for over a week. I didn't wanna spoil the excitement with everyone else by opening it alone. So here we are. So if you're wondering, Kasana released the M600 around August 22nd of 2023. And the CEO of Kasana is Sophia Su, the visionary of Kasana. Her goal is to put an affordable, robust gaming mouse on the market that is affordable and packs a punch with all of the current tech on the market. It's always really nice, guys, to see some of these gaming companies put out PC gaming peripherals that are top-notch and affordable and won't break the bank. Let's face it, most average gamers don't have a buttloads money to invest in good mice and keyboards so the m600 sounds to be very promising indeed so if you guys are ready to tear into this uh, let's go The box that the M600 comes in is as light as a feather. I couldn't believe it myself upon removing it from the shipping container. It was so light, I was wondering if it was actually a mouse even in it. It almost feels like it doesn't contain a mouse. <laughs> the box itself is really basic, which for me adds up to money saved for the consumer, which is a big plus for me. The box comes wrapped in shrink wrap to keep everything nice and tight. That comes as no surprise. Most gaming companies have it around the box to protect the product from dust and such. Moving on guys, as you turn the box over, you get all the spec detailed specs on top of that. That is a breath of fresh air for sure. Most companies focus only on basic print, sensor, speed of sensor, DPI, hertz, and if it's wired or wireless. Kisano puts it all on the box, including the top of switch. As a mouse guru and a purchasing point for me, I want to know what kind of switches are installed. As for outer packaging, well done Kisona. Very clean indeed. Okay, to save a few seconds, I went ahead and cut the plastic loose at the top of the mouse box. Upon opening, you are greeted with a vanilla, plain, extra protection box with a Kisona signature and another black and white picture of the Kisona M600. The box has a nice little flap to open on the right side with two flaps. Really nice indeed. I hate having to tear a box up that the mouse comes in. Never know when you might have to send it back or hell, even sell it later. Appreciate the attention to detail, guys. Inside the box, you are greeted with a minimalistic storage packaging. Uh, the M600 comes in a simple plastic sheath. The cable comes in a plastic as well, along with the replacement PTFE skates. And yes, glass skates as well. Nice touch, Kasana. Not big on glass myself, but great to be included and nonetheless, because there are folks that will appreciate the option for glass skates. The cable comes with a dongle attached to it. That's a little different than I expected. Most competitors have a little nook that the dongle itself is stored inside the box. No biggie at all though. The cable, as you can see or already know, is your standard five foot cable, which is more than enough to reach the back of your PC. And the orange color is a nice touch as well. The M600 comes in at 55 grams per packaging print. When we weigh the M600 with a dongle storage intact, I get 56.40 grams. With it removed, I get 56 grams. So not sure if they are including uh, the weight of the skates in their calculations. Either way, 56 grams is still a really comfortable weight. As for structural integrity, the M600 is very solid mouse. I get no creaking when I try to squeeze the mouse. Kudos for that. I mean, most people aren't going to squeeze that hard anyways. Turning the mouse over, you are greeted with a model number and a Bluetooth or 2.4 Hertz uh, G switch, a DPI switch, and pair button. I, for one, love the DPI on bottom. Keeps me from accidentally hitting during gameplay. And last but not least, if you want to further customize the M600 and the 3395 sensor on board this thing, you can head over to their website and download the software to customize it to your heart's content. Buttons, DPI settings, polling rate, and liftoff. In conclusion, the M600 is a very compact tool that in the right hands 
will lead to many good victories. Keep in mind the M600 is made up for small hand users. Anything over a hand size of say 18 centimeters, it is going to get tough to use comfortably. Forget to, forgot to mention the size. The size is a length 119.38 millimeters, the width is 63.5, and the height is 40.64 millimeters. All in all, I would say it is comparable to the Pulsar X2 with a better, higher hump. I like the feel and think it's important over the Pulsar, improvement over the Pulsar. But Pulsar it did come out with a new shell, so I'm sure they have a higher hump now. At $79.99, the Kasana is a very well equipped budget mouse that leaves little on the table for tech specs. Link in the bottoms, guys. With all of that being said, this is Fatal, signing out.